muy bien. Two months later in December, the Royal Ballet, now a little tired, are going to Lyon to give the last two performances of this tour. Prince Rama may have had problems and adventures on his journey, but the Royal Ballet has also had its share. The Absara dancers have seen snow for the first time in their lives. They have crossed the Alps, mountains which look like the home of Indra, the most powerful of the Hindu gods. They've been shocked to discover their costumes stolen. They've been ill and thrown temper tantrums. Professeur de ballet de grande renommée, était aussi une concubine du roi Monivan et a reçu de lui son titre de Lok Kroon. Ensuite, ma mère est un professeur reconnu comme premier maître de ballet par le roi Norodom Sian. But Dr. Prum Ching has always been there. He has made sure that all his charges have been in the right place at the right time. They have been to France only a very few times. It's only the sixth time in a century that they've left their country. So they are rare visitors here, and everyone knows deep down inside something you can describe only by saying, we're going to see something extraordinary. We're going to see a performance whose origins are lost in the mists of time and that has been passed down to us. On est à peu près certain que les bas reliefs d'Angkor Wat. It's almost certain that the bas reliefs of Angkor Wat, the poses, the headdresses, the costumes of the stone absaras are alive today. When we see flesh and blood absaras on the stage, it's as though the ancient scenes on the stained glass windows of our own cathedrals had come to life before our eyes. Devant nous, une véritable scène antique. The great battle between the monkey army of Prince Rama and that of the Ogo Reap can at last begin. It is the symbolic battle between the forces of good and evil.
Prince Rama's army has won a decisive victory. The prince can now rescue his wife, the beautiful captive Sita. There's something profoundly authentic. There's a complete human truth, and there are moments when this ballet expresses something universal. With some ethnic folk dances, you say, this is from this country or that country. Here we are seeing something that isn't specific to any country. It's a dance form, a dance technique that takes things to the extreme. We have an impression of stillness. It's almost like watching a film, frame by frame. Each position is suggested, shown, held and linked to the next for a moment, long enough to admire and then to miss it. This hieratic dance, with its perfect precise movements, creates a distance for thought, peace and meditation in the channel surfing civilization we live in. Civilisation du zapping dans laquelle on se trouve le ballet royal. The Royal Ballet of Cambodia is the opposite of channel surfing. A performance in which everything happens quickly may have its qualities, but a performance in which everything happens slowly can teach us things about life. Living in Asia, where it's very hot, the Khmer people are particularly fond of taking time to meditate. Meditation, the faculty of introspection that the Asians possess, becomes possible when we watch a dance in which every movement is shown in detail, where everything happens very slowly, almost in slow motion. Just because the modern world moves quickly, there's no reason why actors should move more and more quickly on stage. Slowness is vital if one is to concentrate, to enter a different world. It's true that slowness can...